Oh hell yeah, guys! Welcome to the welcome to yet another new let's play. Today we're doing today, like I said last time like in our last episode of Crash, we are doing the subspace emissary from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I absolutely love this story mode so much. And obviously, considering Smash is in a big effect right now with ultimate, with ultimate being really oh my god, what is happening right now? With ultimate being re with ultimate being much beloved currently, and um, oh, tripping Sakurai. My forward aerial. Oh my god, Magnet Hand saved my life. Hey, I did it, America. Anyway, so that's that was obviously the first one done. Um, we've still got a lot more to go on to. Um, my history with Smash runs only up to this game, <laughs> but eventually I did get everything. I got Wii, I got um, Melee, then the 64 one, then Wii U and 3DS, and then Ultimate when that came out. Even though my least my least favorite personally. Anyway, just so saying, low key, my least favorite one personally is four. Just because it just was four on Wii U anyway, because yeah, they had so much potential to make do so many good things with it, and they squandered so much of it. <clears throat> like so many more characters could have been added, and so many more amazing features could have been added. Like even though, like in sequel mode, sequel story mode to subspace in Wii U. But the problem is, they just... Because of the 3DS's limitations, they had to limit rather than... Um, and I feel even Ultimate's much significantly less, if anything. Anyway, anyway, we're not playing. We're not playing the other games. We're playing this one. So obviously, um, aside from fighting other characters, uh, we got. Oh, good catch, Liam. Anyway, so we even got the. Um... <coughs> We've got the subspace army now. Um, these enemies, basically, you encounter like in various points. Uh, we get different characters, obviously, like different various enemies from other franchises as well, and unique subspace emissary enemies. But that's about it. I'm trying to balance this out a bit. Oh my god. Did I get this on easy or on on normal? Like, I don't remember. Oh, Metal, Metal Mario now, motherfuckers. But yeah, this is a, um... <clears throat> this is a really cool mode. Anyway, there's the, um... In, obviously, yeah, you see his name on the ancient minister. He, um... Becomes he yeah, does a much much significant thing at, at at later on in the game. Like he will do something very significant, so we we'll just have to stay tuned to that a bit later on, much later on actually, because this isn't like Crash Two where there's like a lot to where there's like. Well, I can get done in like 11 parts. This will take significantly longer. Anyway, yep, PT. Who, as a random fact, actually in Ultimate, uh, PT is actually um, a part of Piranha Plant's Final Smash. 
and he does something very similar to this, like use the cage, like, like the whole cage thing. Anyway, we just got to keep we got to keep attacking the cages. But obviously, it's all down to which character you prefer. If you prefer playing as uh, Zelda, you go Zelda and Sheik. You go off to Zelda's one. If you prefer playing as Peach, you go off to Peach's one. Now, me personally, I prefer Peachy. I prefer playing as Princess Peach, so I'll choose. So I choose her. Oh, and there's one of my mains. Yeah, Wario is one of my favourite characters in Smash to play as. I, um, him and um, him, Captain Falcon and Mario are always my three, always my three number one mains to play as. I can't believe Zelda's fucking dead. So is this basic? So does this basically mean that the Hyrule Kingdom is now doomed because Zelda's now been captured? No wait, Ganondorf is fight. I'm trying to remember because I remember because Ganondorf is fighting with the subspace army. So, by technicality, that shouldn't even be a problem. Anyway, that's the first level beaten. Then we got Sable from Animal Crossing, Wild World, Snorlax, and the Spac. So currently we're on two percent. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I did. Yeah, as you see there, I did actually do a recording of Subspace um, earlier. It failed because of the wrong um, file format, so we have to redo it again. Anyway, enough of behind the scenes stuff. We'll play um, Skyworld. Uh, fun fact, actually, for those who probably didn't already know, uh, this game actually was responsible for the rebirth of Kid Icarus, of Kid Icarus with Uprising and him appearing in Smash Wii U and 3DS and in Ultima as well, and along with Palutena and, and along with Palutena and Dark Pit was created mostly out of an alternate costume of Pit. And yeah, this weapon that Pit currently uses, like the bow and arrow thing with the rings on the arm, that also appears in that also appears in Uprising as a weapon. I don't remember what it's called, but I'll be sure to tell you what it's called in the next episode when I remember. <laughs> so yeah, as you see, currently we only have one character to play as. I'll just head through here. Right, so we'll just fly down this way. Grab what's in here. The um, it's the smoke bomb. And two sticker sheets. I'll right, just head down more. We'll keep running. Yeah, there's a lot of differences Pit has um, from this game and um, the future Smash titles. So, like for example, with side B is no longer that spinny thing; it's now his electro shock arm. Um, up B, up B doesn't make him like fly in a really weird way for a duration of time. Instead, it just shoots him upwards like that. Um, I don't know if his down B is any different. Because I've rarely play pit. I so very rarely play pit, and any none of my friends really play pit that much. Oh, I just dropped my remote. <laughs> I actually noticed something really cool with that, though, with um, the attention to detail of this, like. When Pit starts off, he um, has it as the, he has it as the bow, but when he goes and he di and he disconnects both of them and starts swinging it, he has it disconnected out of the cutscene. I love it when things have really well attention detail. Oh, Star Rod, Star Rod from Curbs. 
Oh yeah, it is significantly different because in this he only has his um, reflect shield go straight like that, but in um, but in Kid Icarus, um, uh, no, in Kid Icarus Uprising, but in their later Smash titles, he has it so it's um, spl it's a split shield. Just throw the bomb. There we go. The one unfortunate thing is though with this game is most of the time when you KO an enemy, the, the um, unlike with Wii U and 3DS, the punch just isn't there with it. Like you can't really feel the 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 pull, oh, like the punch, like the impact. Oh yeah, plus actually, if you guys do um, enjoy doing some Smash modding... If you guys do... Uh, oh, I just played the cutscene again. That was a mistake. And I just chose Pit instead of Mario. Fantastic. Fuck. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, gotta... I can't grab the hammer. Let me grab the hammer, please. If you don't mind. There you go. Let's just go down. Let's just pass everybody. Ow. Gotta just grab the oh there's another trophy stand. Right, I'll just grab that. Hang on, let me just shit, help. No, oh, no. Get out. There we go. I'm trying not to get hit here with this. Oh yeah, because oh yeah, because platforming is easy when you're made out of metal, isn't it? It's my favourite thing in the world. Alright, let's go through this door. Right. I, I, I love auto scrolling so much. It's my favourite thing in the entire universe. There we go. Thanks, Pitt, your and your really not good voice actor. I don't I don't like Lani. Like that's an, I know that's her first name, I don't remember the second name, but I don't really like Lani as Pitt. I mean she did great as other characters. Like I know she obviously voices Rouge, and she's pretty good as Rouge. But I just don't like her as Pitt. She sounds really not good. Then again, because I've been watching a lot of behind the voice actors and a lot of voice act work, voice, voice work and such behind different characters. Any voice actor is much better than the guy. Than, oh, well, there's my first KO. <laughs> just, I was just going to go on a tangent and say any voice actor is better than the trash VA that that played uh, Mega Man in Mega Man X and Me Mega Man X4 and Mega Man... Um, Eight, but that's 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 a story for another day because we might do another we might do a Mega Man let's play who knows or live stream probably. Oh fuck, row turrets. Yeah, these aren't too tough enemies, but but they do get up there. <laughs> when you fight like wait, when you. I think I remember there was like a mo there was like a um, level where you fight like a load of them at one time. That's that one gets annoying. Anyway, so there goes um, the R wing, and there we go. Another stage clear. So we got Smart Bomb, Star Rod, the Primid, thanks to the Trophy Base, and Funky Kong. Uh, and then we got all loaded, and we got all of these guys as stickers. So maybe we'll just continue on. And we'll end off today's episode. 
So we'll say, actually, we'll save, then we'll end off. So, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the very first episode of Let's Play um, Subspace Emissary. Um, obviously, we've got more episodes to come. If you guys wish to subscribe, feel free to do so. I would really appreciate it. Um, also, this also we got an, we got more episode. We got another episode coming tomorrow. So, I hope you enjoy that. And anyway, I will hope to see you guys in the next video, the next stream, the next whatever. Take care. Bye-bye.